Well, hello there, viewers. Today, for initial checkout, we have an AT&T 210 quarter trim line telephone. This is, in fact, the older model than the newer one. Because I think the newer ones only come in beige, white, and black. This is in the color blue. It comes in a variety. It comes in um, red. I believe red. Green, black, and beige, and blue. And I think they also make a Mickey Mouse model that has the red handset. So that's pretty neat. This phone does indeed have that nostalgic AT&T audio quality noise. So that's nice. And it's got that lovely nostalgic old model AT&T ringer there's actually two different kinds this has the first kind just like with the 100 that's sitting up there it's got the same exact ringer and it's such a classic so now let's go ahead and call it up I'm using the 345 for this test Yes, that unmistakable AT&T classic ringer. We'll let that go one more time. And we are indeed on a call with the AT&T 210 quarter trim line. And as we can see, Sorry, I have a little bit of a cold right now. As we can see, the buttons are all backlit. It's not like the new one where it's all, where there's like one LED right here and one LED right here. This one lights up the entire keypad, which is a lot better if you're in the dark. Let's do a DTMF test. And actually, the older AT&T phones were a mechanical keypad, which means if you press two numbers at the same time, you'll get one little tone that is used to generate DTMF. DTMF usually uses two frequency tones to make the numbers. But if you press down two numbers at once, it'll only play one of the tones that DTMF uses. So here we go. Oops. Yes. Pretty nice. You can do that with the newer 210s, but it's very classic. Now I will call the 345 back. It's on the operator line, so I'll just hit zero. And we are talking. And we are talking on here too. So now, excuse me, well, let's now um, make some outside calls. Yes, there's absolutely no, no distortion on the dial tone. We waited too long. Now we activate the other line and it sounds a lot better. Whoops. <laughs> that almost sounded like the little battery signal on early VTech and AT&T phones.
I don't think I dialed the right number. Let's try it again. Farmer Jones appears to be down too. So, I guess I am forced to stick with intercept numbers. <laughs> I forgot I was on the PBX. Oh man. Okay, so not a whole lot of numbers to call if they keep getting disconnected. So now I record a message on the True345's answering machine, and we'll go from there. You have one new message. Alright, hello there everyone. This is a test on the at t 210 to trim my telephone. The audio quality on this is amazing, especially if you hear the person talking for some. It's got that classic AT&T high frequency noise. And the ringer is also a classic. So this, this is a test. Test, test one, two, three. <laughs> check, check, one, two. This test is not concluded. Thank you. Sunday, 7.22 a.m. Well, everyone, I would say that this is the end of the initial checkout of the AT&T 210. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more.